Hello, my name is Levison Wood and tonight I'm going to be telling you a little story from my book Incredible Journeys all about the very first explorers, the early humans who left Africa and went in search of adventure to explore the world and find new places to live. Humans are capable of incredible things. I've walked six and a half thousand kilometres across Africa. I've travelled 8,000 kilometres around the Arabian Peninsula and hiked two and a half thousand kilometres along the length of the Himalayas. But this is nothing compared to the feats of exploration of the very first people to live on Earth. Two million years ago, our ancestors, very early species of humans with names like Homo erectus, evolved in Africa, but began to walk out of the continent hunting and living in caves along the way. Every day was a battle for survival as they struggled to keep warm and safe and to find food. It took hundreds of thousands of years for people to populate the whole world. Meanwhile, the species Homo erectus evolved into Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors. Incredibly, most people alive today are related to just one Homo sapiens family who left Africa around 125,000 years ago. Their descendants, who roamed around the world with no equipment, were the first real explorers. And this map shows what the Earth looked like around 18,000 years ago during the middle of an ice age. You can see here, this is the world here, and this is some examples of how the early humans travelled around. Here we go, 60,000 years ago, our Homo sapiens ancestors started moving around out of Africa towards Arabia, in modern day Asia. So they left Africa and walked into what's now the Middle East. After that, 50,000 years ago, the first humans made our own weapons and stone tools. And they used those to hunt animals and to build homes. And some very human tools have been found in places like China. And they used to use things like this. This is um, it's a wooden um, hunting stick and it's very heavy and very hard. And they would use things like this to be able to throw and to, to hit animals so that they go hunting and to be able to survive. Um, and whenever I've been traveling, I always try and bring back some souvenirs for along the way. And these ages, the times when the early humans were traveling around, these were called the prehistoric ages because this was before people learned to read or write and before they left books from which we can read. So the only evidence is what we call fossils, so bits of um, stone and wood that have become fossilized and that we can find evidence uh, along the way. And not just humans, of course, but animals too. And this is um, what we call a fossilized megalodon tooth. Now this, you can see here, it's very sharp. This is the tooth of a prehistoric shark. Now these sharks are much bigger than the modern day sharks that you get. This was about 30 meters long. Um, so this, this tooth here is, is about five or six times the size of a modern day shark. Isn't that amazing? And this dates back about 30 million years old. So a long time before humans were around. But of course, early humans would find things like this or they'd find very sharp stones. And that's what they'd use to, to cut up their meat or to make clothes. Um, and they'd just make tools out of whatever they could find. So the early humans had to be very resilient, very strong to be able to walk long distances. But it wasn't long. It was just a case of a few thousand years that these families traveled all around the world and populated the entire planet, living everywhere from Africa through to North and South America, even the frozen areas of Siberia. So these were the very first explorers and it's now we think it's in our DNA that we need to explore. We need to see what's beyond the next horizon. Um, and that's why people today, even today, people like to explore. People like me and hopefully you'll get some inspiration so that when you're old enough, you too can be an explorer. That's enough for this evening. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's bedtime story. Tune in again tomorrow.